From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Shia LaBeouf says he's going to live alone in a cabin in Finland for a month. All right, so what do we have to do to get you to stretch that to a millennium instead, Shia? Facebook is increasing their efforts on stopping fake news. They're even creating a fake news police force. <laughs> okay, I, I just made that up. Just when United Airlines didn't think things could get any worse, a scorpion had other ideas. One fell out of an overhead bin and stung a passenger during a United flight between Houston and Calgary. Richard Bell was on his way home from a two-week vacation in Mexico when the scorpion fell onto his head. After stinging Bell, the scorpion was crushed by another passenger and thrown in a toilet. It's unclear how the scorpion got onto the flight. Both the passenger and the scorpion were dragged off the airplane in a bloody pulp. Taiwan has banned the eating of dog and cat meat. In fact, the restrictions are so tough you're not even allowed to use the phrase, tastes like chicken. Hundreds of protesters flooded the Capitol lawn on Saturday, carrying signs demanding that President Trump release his tax returns. Rachel Maddow was nowhere to be found. Angelina Jolie just bought a $25 million Hollywood mansion. See, now that's, that's the tough part about a divorce. I mean, you have to start rebuilding your life from nothing. Just a week after a park in southwest China started providing free toilet paper for visitors, thieves stole a total of 1,500 rolls. Wait, wait a minute here. How can you say the toilet paper was stolen if you're giving it away for free? An atheist group is arguing that a University of Mississippi football coach should be banned from posting Bible verses and other faith-inspired contents on social media. Coach Hugh Freeze often tweets out Bible verses and uplifting faith-filled content. The atheist organization Freedom From Religion issued a press statement saying that Freeze should not be allowed to post such content as an employee of the university. Oh yeah, and he's posting these from his personal Twitter account not from an account attached to the school. Okay, now I'm fine if you don't want to believe in God, but what is with you angry atheists? Why are you so intolerant, offended, and antagonistic towards something that you don't even believe exists? You don't put up this kind of commotion for the tooth fairy, so why do it for God, who also, in your opinion, doesn't exist? If there is nothing after this life, what does it hurt if they choose to believe in God or tell others about Him? It's all for nothing anyway, so who cares? Here's something to keep in mind, though. If you're right that there is no God and the religious folks are wrong, well, they've lost absolutely nothing. However, if God does exist, then you lose everything. Just something to keep in mind while you go out picketing against the equivalent of magical unicorns, as you believe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media to help the channel grow. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It is the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in monthly prize drawings. Sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at MarlerHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!